Hi, I'm Ashwant. Welcome to the Geeks for Geeks. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top 10 Python packages that one should know. Python is undoubtedly the best programming language in the world based on the number of users or based on the number of areas that Python is being used. So it is considered as one of the primary language for every developer and every organization. So Python is popular because one of the reason is it is an open source and the other thing is it has an extensive package library where everyone can contribute for Python packages and everyone can create their own. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to talk about the top 10 Python packages that one should know. Let's get started. Number one in the list is TensorFlow. So TensorFlow is undoubtedly the top package of Python that is used in machine learning and deep learning. So if you are building a neural network, if you are working on building a huge machine learning application, then ultimately TensorFlow is the best option to go for. So TensorFlow has a large range of uh, options to choose from when building a machine learning model. So it is used to handle a neural network intensively uh, without any data Data problems so it is still considered as one of the best package in 2021 to go for and number two in the list is numpy numpy stands for numerical python so if you are someone who is starting your career in data analytics then you might have heard this term called numpy so numpy makes your mathematics in python very easily so if you are if you are performing something on data analytics or machine learning side then you need to perform, then you need to understand uh, mathematics in a very extensive way so you need linear algebra you need statistics you need everything but what numpy does is it embeds every mathematical function as a python function so that you can just use some python functions uh, to perform all those mathematical operations very easily so numpy is one of the best python package to go for uh, when when you are someone who is looking to start your career in data analytics number three in the list is pandas pandas is one of the popular python package that is used for handling and managing data so if you are working in a data in, in data side and you are working on csv files or excel files then you you need pandas mandatorily because python because pandas is a mandatory python package to handle any kind of data so you can clean the data and you can organize the data in a csv file so you can import the columns from the csv file you can organize that and you can make some uh, analytics out of the data set that you have so yeah pandas is a very handy package that one can use to get insights and analytics about the data sets that you have and number four in the list is PyTorch. PyTorch is an alternative to TensorFlow that one can use for. So PyTorch is uh, being developed by Facebook and it is primarily used by Facebook too. So it, it, it also performs the same operations that what TensorFlow does. So it is primarily helpful in dealing with neural networks and all those stuff. So yeah, if you're someone who is very much fancy about uh, building a machine learning model, uh, with advanced neural nets then and you are not completely comfortable with tensorflow then you can go with uh, this pytorch thing number five in the list is opencv so opencv is a very fancy python package that most of the developers love so it is a computer vision package which can be used in all image processing tasks so whether it is um, I mean self-driving car or whether it is an object detection model or whether it is a face detection model biometric everything so everything that involves with computer vision application can be well treated with OpenCV so yeah you can use OpenCV to build all those models you can build a face detection model from scratch using OpenCV you can build an object detection classifier you can use this um, I mean OpenCV library in any advanced level to build all those image processing applications number six in the list is beautiful soup beautiful soup often called as bs4 is one of the best web scraping library that one can use for so you can scrape data from any website using this fancy library called beautiful soup it is still one of the most popular uh, library i mean in the side of web scraping and developers 
love this because it is easy to get data from any kind of website using this bs4 so it can also be used as a it can also be used as a crawler for most of the people number seven in the list is tk enter so if you are someone who is fancy about building GUI based applications in Python, then TK Inter is the best choice to choose because TK Inter allows you to build Python applications in the form of uh, GUI interfaces. So you can use TK Inter to build any kind of applications and you don't need a web server for that because you are just building a GUI based app. And yes, it is loved by many of the people. Number eight in the list is Pillow. Pillow is somewhat similar to OpenCV, but yes, it is used in various image processing applications. So wherever there is a requirement with image data, then you can use Pillow uh, to, I mean, to manipulate the sizes of the images and to handle the image data set and yeah, other image related tasks, you can use Pillow for that. Number nine in the list is Matplotlib. Matplotlib is a famous uh, data visualization package that um, one can use to get insights from the data. So you can use Matplotlib with combination to pandas or numpy. So you can get, um, I mean, high level insights from that. So you can create pie charts, you can create graph charts, you can, I mean, you can create graph charts, you can create different kind of charts using Matplotlib very easily. And number 10 in the list is text blob. Text blob is one of the popular NLP library. So if you don't know what NLP is, NLP stands for natural language processing, where you deal with natural language. So text blob is one of the popular pick um, and it is a great Python package. Uh, you, can, you can do any kind of NLP task by using this. You can perform tasks like stemming, lemmatization, and you can use text blob uh, in extracting sentiment analysis out of data. So yeah, this is one of the finest a python package to go for when you're working on natural language processing and yeah these are all the top 10 python packages that every developer should have in their in their mind when going for building advanced python applications thank you for watching this video and if you have any concerns or any doubts regarding all these 10 packages post your queries in the comment section and i will get back to you thank you for watching see you in the next video